PS2 mini games. Hey there, and welcome back to PS2 Mini Games. Uh, this is episode two. The original episode was about my games collection, not including PS2 items. This one's going to be all PS2. And this is the main reason to start this channel. Uh, I'm attempting to get a full, complete European PS2 games collection. Uh, we're going to go through some basic details in this episode. Uh, how many games there are, what I've got already roughly, what number I'm sitting at, and how long I roughly think it's going to take. So how am I going to achieve getting every PS2 game in Europe? Uh, many different ways. Uh, one, CEX for random games I can't find. Uh, Gaming fairs. Uh, for I was recently at Doncaster Gaming Market uh, about a week and a half ago. I went with Dan the Games Man. Uh, he's got an awesome YouTube channel. You should check it out. Uh, annotation for that right about here. Other, other means, uh, eBay will be an option. I don't really want to do that because uh, you can't trust many people these days, sadly, on eBay. Uh, I've got some good deals on eBay, but lately I've been getting bad deals. And uh, there's the odd con arts on eBay too, so you've got to, got to be wary of that. Other ways... Uh, Facebook Marketplace. Uh, you'd be surprised what you find on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, I've got a few games that way and they've all been in great condition. Car boots. Uh, car boot sales is going to be an option. Uh, where I live is not near many car boots, but I'm going to try that more and more. Obviously, I'll be filming most of this stuff, so uh, you can see what I've been trying to do and how I'm doing it. Uh, those kind of things. Anyway, let's get to the uh, basic PS2 uh, video. So let's start off with the Platinum games. As you can see, I've got a few here. The James Bond's on the left. Uh, interesting note on the Platinum games, there's about, about 420 to 430 Platinum games I have to get. And you would think they'd be easier to find? Uh, no, they're actually hard to find. Uh, many reasons being people don't collect Platinum games. Secondly, people collect the Platinum case, but not the actual Platinum disc, so they're incomplete. So getting both, Platinum Disc and Platinum Case is very hard. Plus, certain games are very limited. Uh, Silent Hill 2 is a £55 game, that's on Platinum. So, that it's quite hard, uh, quite hard to get a set. As you can see, the four hacks there, uh, they're about £200 combined, those four games. I'll speak about them on the future videos. Uh, Ace Combat Series is a pretty good series. Uh, and you can see generic baseball games. Uh, the Alone in the Dark series is alright, yeah, not great, but not uh, not horrific. As we scroll down to the second line here, uh, Armored Core games are all very good. Most of them are reasonably expensive, I've got to find them. Uh, Auto Mibizia, a Capcom racing game. Very good indeed. Uh, then you've got some terrible games, uh, the Batman series on the left there. Uh, ben 10, uh, they were popular about 15 years ago, I suppose, Ben 10. Then you've got some real generic games like Bob the Builder. Uh, got a bold man games there, I suppose. Uh, they're pretty good. Uh, Brian Lara cricket games. Jesus, they were, they're just bad. Burnout series has held up quite well. Ah, uh, there we go, the Buzz series. There's about 10 Buzz games. Uh, some of them are actually reasonably expensive, but the most of them are really cheap. The original Call of Duty trilogy right there. World of War right next to it. Capcom collection. Then we've got some Celebrity Deathmatch, one of the worst games ever played. It really holds up, does not hold up at all. As we go down to the next tier. Uh, Cold Fear is a weird game. Uh, it's a good game though. I like it. Uh, Contra, yeah. Let's we, we, yeah. We're not speaking about Contra. I have every Crash game apart from the uh, Crash Trilogy yet uh, collection, which is the uh, free PS2 games on one in one uh, case. If you know what I mean. So I've got to get that. Besides that, I'm, I've got every Crash game going. Right, as you can see, we're now on to D, the dance, uh, the dancing uh, stage games and does UK games. Ultimate shovelware for the PS2, absolutely worthless, but I got to get them all. Uh, Dark Cloud, Dark Summit, very good games. Uh, well, Def Jam, Fight for New York, an expensive game. I don't know why it cost me so much, but it did. Uh, Devil May Cry trilogy, very good, especially the special edition where they fixed it pretty much. Uh, as you see on the right here, the Dragon Ball Z Budokai series, all six of them. Uh, Tenkaichi 3 is worth about 50 quid these days, that's an expensive game. As we move on to the next aisle here, well, Rowie if you want to be pedantic, uh, I have every Dynasty Warrior game, all 10,000 of them. Uh, they hadn't held up very well, but I had to get everyone, so I got them all. Uh, there's not many good E games, uh, to be honest, there's a lot of shovelware here, uh, except Evil Twin. Evil Twin's a good game. Actually, Evil Dead, both games are very good, I've got to get the second one. Ah, we will talk about the iToy uh, games and. Uh, Accessory later in a future ep episode, but they are all practically worthless now. Right, as we now move on to F, uh, Fantastic Four has not held up well. 
Here we are, the FIFA games, all practically worthless apart from FIFA 13 and 14. Only reason they're worth something, they were right at the end of the PS2 game life. They're worth about 30 to 40 pound each. Uh, Final Fantasy games there, sold in their millions, so they're, they're practically worthless these days, but they're all fantastic games. Uh, a lot of Ford games, Ford Racing 1 to 3 and 4, I know they're popular Fords, but it's like 6 or 7 games. Uh, Formula 1 franchises, once again a lot of shovelware. Uh, here we go. Uh, strangely enough, one of the most expensive games to buy is a Garfield game because of limited release. It's like worth over 100 quid. It's ridiculous. Godfather game, the good one and the uh, bad one. I haven't got God of War 2 yet. I'll be getting that very shortly though. Uh, the only GTA I haven't got is the Trilogy Pack. I've got the double pack as you can see right there, but I need the Trilogy Pack. That's about 40 quid. Uh, I do love myself some Guilty Gear 2. Uh, as we move down to the lower Gs, uh, got most of the Guitar Hero games. Uh, Gun Con 2 is a decent game, so is Gun Griffin Blaze. Uh, Harry Potter franchise, I've got them all, including the expensive one. Uh, Frost Stones Stone is about 50 quid these days. Uh, I need a few Hot Wheel games. There's Hyper Street Fighting 2 on the right hand side there. That's uh, I still play that occasionally to this day. Okay, forgive my fingers, apparently I can't record properly. <laughs> no one's perfect. Yes, I love Street Fighter 2. Uh, eye games, yeah, there's a lot of like shovelware in the eyes, as you can see, International Q Club, practically worthless, no one wants it, they're so hard to find. Uh, the Jays, uh, Jack and Daxter games, you can see, I've got a few of them, uh, need, I think I still need one of them though. Uh, Jaws Unleashed is not a bad game actually, shockingly alright. Uh, now here we go, uh, <laughs> as you can see, King of Hearts 1 and 2, uh, King of Fighters Maximum Impact 1 and 2, uh, they actually hold up quite well. Night Rise is a terrible game, by the way. Never play it. Uh, I've got every Lara Croft game, including the Anniversary Collection. Uh, I have every Legend of Spyro game. Uh, Legend of Wrestling 1 and 2 are both awful, awful games. The worst game I ever played in my life are Little Britain. Uh, <laughs> all the Imagine games. Uh, I need one of the Lord of the Rings games. Uh, it should be hard to find. I've got, I've got to find these games. So, Right, I so said now I get my bloody knees. Uh, Madden games. I got most of them. I just need a few of them. Uh, I got Manhunt One, not number two. That's a rare game. That's about fifty quid. My one of my favourite games, Marvel vs. Capcom Two, still holds up to this day. Awesome fighting style game. Uh, all the Medal of Honor games, Metal Gear Solid Two and Three, and Subsistence versions. Uh, I need a few Metal Slugs, but I got the anthology as you can see. Uh, Midway's Treasures One, Two, and Three. Uh, Monster House and Monster Hunter. As we move down now uh, to uh, Monster Jam, uh, the Motor GPs. I've got all four Mortal Kombat games, by the way. Yeah? Uh, Shaolin Monks is the best one by far. I want to get real on that one. Uh, MTV Moose Generator 2, uh, product of the times. Uh, one, I've got a Naruto game, I need about another six of them. Strange enough, it's about 24 or 25 basketball games on the PS2, so I've got to get a lot of those. As you can see, uh, I've got a few uh, ice hockey games. Obviously, we've now got to. Uh, O, as you can see, only on the left. Uh, the Onimoshi games, all five of them, all held up quite well. Let's go to the P. So as you can see, there, Persona 4 in the middle there. Uh, that holds up well to this day. Persona 3 is significantly more expensive. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, Pimp My Ride, uh, another product of its times. Uh, a lot of a lot of shovelware here. Poor, poor master, poker masters, that kind of stuff. Yeah, a lot, a lot of shovelware. Uh, Prince of Persia games uh, have not aged well. I'll go with that. I'll just say that they have not aged well. Uh, Pro Evo games, they're all worthless. Uh, but I need them all. Right, R games. Uh, Ratchet and Clank. Uh, I think Secret Agent Clank's like, worth 60 quid. I've got to find that. I've got every Resident Evil apart from Survivor 2. But I should be able to find that. That's not a rare game to find. Both rock bands are the right there. Forgive the wire. I'm the... <laughs> Uh, Rocky on the far left and uh, generic rugby games. A lot of rugby games on the PS2. I don't know why it's not that much po very popular. Right now, let's move on to S. By F Samurai Laws on the left. Uh, right, uh, I've got most of Scooby Doo, Scooby Doo games. I've got to get some more. Sega Bass Fishing, the ultimate game, of course. Best game ever. Uh, Shadow Heart Trilogy. Uh, interesting note on Shadow Hearts. The first two were made by, I think, Midway, and the third one was not. So the first two are worth significantly more than the third one. Uh, Shadow of the Colossus, good game as you can imagine. There we go, Shin Megami Tensei Devil Saga 1 and 2, and Persona 3. Uh, that's worth 80 quid these days. Uh, Silent Hill there, I've got every Silent Hill apart from Shattered Memories. Uh, Hit and Run of course. Uh, 
moving on. Ah, oh, the Sing Star games. Uh, Europe wide, there's about 72 versions, but they're all the same games in different languages. So that's going to be a bit hard to find. Uh, Sly Cooper 3, only the first two, they're all good games. Uh, Sly Brilly, it hasn't aged that well. Uh, I've got every Sonic game. Uh, Sonic Gems Collection is by far the better one with all the originals. Soul Calibur games hold up. Uh, Space Invaders low. <laughs> I'm about to say, uh, yeah, seriously, Space Invaders. Uh, I've got most of the SpongeBob games. About nine SpongeBob games in the PS2. We'll go into that in a future episode. Uh, some more Spyro games. Just I do it alphabetically, so they come here. Uh, I've got every Star Wars game. There's about eleven Star Wars games. They, they, uh, they, they're not expensive to find. So that was easy. Steamboat Chronicles, another awesome RPG. Another expensive game. Uh, let's see. Well, let's win. Some of all fears, a decent game. Super Buster Move. I don't know why it's got a color. Super Dragon Ball Z, that's, that's an alright game, it's nothing special, but it, it holds up. As we move down to T, <laughs> Tekken, all Tekken games are very good. My favourite franchise by far. Uh, more generic football games, oh here comes generic, all these golf titles, they're all worthless. Uh, Time Crisis, all the uh, gun games are uh, very good to, to this day. Uh, Tom Clancy games, not my cup of tea, but uh, I'll collect them all. I've got all eight or nine Tony Hawk games. Some of them are pretty good, but the later ones were not. Uh, Transformers. Uh, I've got this about three or four different Transformer games. Some of them are good. Some of them are awful. Uh, Twisted Metal, an underrated franchise. And now we move to U. Uh, UFC Sudden Impact. Not a bad game, but not great. As we move into Vs. Uh, not many good V games to be pedantic. Max is all right. That's about it. Uh, War is Orochi uh, and 2, that's, they're not bad games. Wild Arms 3 is awesome, I want number 4 and 5 obviously. Uh, then we've got more generic games, Worms. Right, let's go on to my, my bloody feet now. Uh, all the wrestling games are in obviously WWE. I've got nearly, I've got every wrestling game apart from 2010. Uh, got all the X-Men games, I think i got them all. I might be missing one. I've got all three Yu-Gi-Oh games, I'm currently playing GX as we speak. I need Yakuza but not Yakuza 2, so... Yeah, that's, that's, that's my rough collection at the moment. It's, it holds up quite well. As you can see, I've got quite a few uh, PS2 games at the moment. Uh, I'm nearly halfway to uh, Ultimate Collection. Obviously, it's going to get harder because it's going to be less games to find, but we'll get there. We'll get there. So, uh, thank you for watching this video. Feel free to leave any comments below. Uh, please like and subscribe, and uh, hopefully I'll get more videos out in the future. Have a good day, and uh, this is a goodbye from PS2 Mini Games. Bye.